Ladies and gentlemen, as we bring the Corsair back in, give Dave Falk a big wave. There you go, way to go, David. And down to the left, we're gonna see an airplane coming by in a very, very unique parade pass. Take a look. The airplane known as the Cadillac of the Sky just took off on runway one. That's Lee Lauderback, the T-51 Mustang. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to turn the microphone over to State Sergeant Ryan Ball in the A-10 Powerboat 2 flight demonstration. Warhawk's precise handling characteristics as Major Thorpe rolls up 
you will notice a fake canopy painted on the belly of the aircraft directly underneath the cockpit. This false canopy is designed to deceive enemy ground troops as to the A-10's direction of turn while concealing a titanium armor barrier that protects the pilot and cockpit from enemy ground fire. Now for the right, we report for the slow roll. Perform its close air support mission, twisting and turning low over the battlefield. The Warthog can deliver devastating firepower, destroying targets in close proximity to friendly ground forces. And its arsenal are a wide variety of modern weapons, including JAMs, Maverick missiles, unguided and laser guided bombs. Cluster bombs, rockets, 30 millimeter bullets, and A9 air to air missiles. All of these weapons have been used to attack enemy forces in Iraq, Bosnia, Kosovo, and Afghanistan. The A10 2 TF 34 turbo fan engines add with a just power to its performance. They are also smokeless and much quieter than comparable engines. This makes the airplane much harder to hear and aids immensely in achieving tactical surprise when attacking from all altitudes. The a engines are also extremely fuel efficient, enabling it to fly more than 2,000 miles without refueling. That in flight refueling and the Warthog can fly non stop to Europe and the Middle East. Major Thorpe is now repositioning his aircraft to perform a level 360 degree high G turn. The a quick turn rate and small turn radius, which enables it to work effectively over the battlefield, even under marginal weather conditions. Major Corp just completed that turn only 1,400 feet. This is less than the size of an average NASCAR racetrack at well over twice the speed of your favorite driver. On the battlefield, the capability enables the Warhawk to turn quickly and evade enemy air defenses. Major Corp is now configuring his aircraft to demonstrate the A-10's slow speed controllability at its final approach airspeed of 140 miles per hour. This slow speed pass will give you a good chance of the A-10's high bypass engines and unique tail design. These distinct features help mask the heat signature, which helps the pilot defeat infrared missiles. And now, from the right, Major Thorpe and the slow speed pass. Let's go to the cockpit of the aircraft and see if Major Thorpe has any words for us today. During World War II, the original Flying Tigers, led by General Claire Chennault, painted teeth on the nose of their P-40 Warhawks to strike fear into the hearts of the enemy. Today, the Flying Tigers of the 23rd Wing, comprised of three A-10 squadrons, keep this proud tradition alive. Major Thorpe is now repositioned behind the crowd to demonstrate a pop-up attack. This tactic is used by A-10 pilots in order to avoid enemy detection while entering a target area. At altitude as low as 100 feet, the A-10 can take advantage of terrain matching to delay enemy radar and weapons acquisition from behind and to your left. Major Thorpe will climb at the last minute to visit acquire the target. 
Then rolling for his simulated straight pass, using a hog third's weapon of choice, the Galway Avenger 30 millimeter Gatlin gun. Firing bullets inside the coat pile at nearly 70 rounds per second, the A-10 is able to suppress the enemy with precision while minimizing collateral damage. The A-10's 30 millimeter round delivers seven times the certain energy of a more conventional 20 millimeter round. Hog 3 you are clear. Less than 30 seconds to get back into firing position for a second straight attack. With two hog pilots working together, enemy forces would expect to be under 8 and fire once every 10 to 15 seconds. Air support capability for today's joint fight. During deployments, including Desert Shield, 
Desert Soar, Alex Morrison, Curry Freedom, and Iraqi Freedom. The A-10 has consistently demonstrated its ability to fly more than four sorties per day, a tribute to the skill and dedication of our magnificent maintenance crew. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a hand to all of our outstanding maintainers and all those service members keeping our aircraft fit to flight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we set up for the next part of the program, back behind us you can see two airplanes. The A-10 Thunderbolt II joining up with the P-51 Mustang you saw earlier. It's bringing us to a part of the program that's known as the Air Force Heritage Flight, and Ryan Ball will tell you all about it. You ready, Ryan? Ladies and gentlemen, back to Ryan Ball. I will now take a moment to describe the unique history of this portion of our performance. In 1997, the leaders of Air Combat Command assembled a select group of retired military and civilian performers to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the United States Air Force. From this gathering was born the Heritage Flight, a unique visual representation of the Air Force's history from the days of the Army Air Corps to the present. As we now celebrate what started out as a one-time event, Heritage Flights were performed at air shows and special events in the United States and around the world. It is my pleasure to describe for you this afternoon's United States Air Force Heritage Flight. Freedom. We hope you've enjoyed watching this rare formation of classic and current Air Force aircraft. Please turn me now and watch this rare formation approach us from behind and directly overhead.
Air Force 8 and Thunderbolt 2 on landing. Dylan Thorpe. Ladies and gentlemen, the music you hear was written by Little Texas Band member Dwayne O'Brien. It's called We Remember. The United States Air Force Heritage Flight Foundation was formed in 2010 with the primary charitable mission of providing heritage flight performances for the public. These formations serve as a living memorial to the men and women of the Air Force and proudly support Air Force recruiting and retention efforts. If you'd like to support the Air Force Heritage Flight Foundation, you can go to airforceheritageflight.org on the web and learn how you can help support these 40 to 60 heritage flight performances that take place all over the United States. We believe out of back to the for your United States Air Force's Heritage Flight. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Commander of Air Combat Command, General Michael Hossage, we hope you enjoyed watching and taking pride in this rare glance at nearly 60 years of Air Force Heritage. And to all military veterans, we thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Staff Sergeant Ryan Ball, narrator for the A-10 Thunderbolt II demonstration, Major Dylan Thorpe in the A-10 Thunderbolt II, and Lee Lauterback in the P-51 Mustang, more technically called a TF-51 Mustang. Lee has the distinction of being the man who has more hours in the North American Mustang than any individual in history. At Kissimmee <laughs> Airport here in Florida, near Orlando, Lee Lauterback and his company, Stallion 51, operates two trainer Mustangs with full dual controls front and back. So people who want to get familiar, familiarization flights or to learn how to fly a Mustang can do so. There's Lee Lauterback, he'll be coming around and taxiing in front of the crowd. For those of you who are Mustang aficionados, you'll notice that the canopy is a little bit longer than normal. And that's because the second place, normally not in a Mustang at all, has been cut out with a full set of instruments there. The A-10 Thunderbolt 2 on short final, and Ryan, you got to be having a good time watching this guy in the last weekend of the year. Yes, sir. It's a great air show. Now let's watch Dylan Thorpe. I want you all to give him a wave. Maybe we can coax him into doing a special wave back to you when he turns off the runway. Here comes the A-10 Thunderbolt II, built around that GAL-8 Avenger, 4,000 rounds per minute. This air